I'm Alison and welcome back to my channel. Before anything else, I would like to thank each and every one of you who watched and liked my first ever YouTube video, My Interracial Love Story featuring my husband, Christian. And for those who have not yet watched it, I will leave the link down below. And for those who have subscribed, thank you so, 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 so much. And for those who have not yet, please hit the subscribe button and join me in my journey. And I promise you, it's going to be an amazing ride. Seychelles is becoming one of the go-to wedding destinations, especially for UAE residents. Not only because of its white sand and clear beach, but also it offers couples less hassle and less stressful wedding preparation and documentation regardless of your nationality or race. So on today's video, I arrange wedding guidelines based on our experience for all of you who are interested in getting married in seashells. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Look for a perfect wedding coordinator. Googling wedding coordinators in seashells can be a little bit overwhelming. Couples have a lot of options to choose from. How did we choose ours? We listed our top three wedding coordinators based on price, package, reviews, and website. Tip one, list down all your questions and doubts and arrange a Zoom call with your coordinator. Arranging a call with your wedding coordinator gives you the initial vibe of who the person you are going to be dealing with in this whole preparation process. Throwing out all the questions to them also shows how knowledgeable they are in the process. Make the questions personal. Ask questions like, what is the process for Filipinos to report marriage? Will you be able to do that for me? As much as possible, you want to know the extent of service the wedding coordinators can do for you. For us, we decided to go with UAE Expat Weddings. The fact that they managed to make our experience very relaxing and memorable makes us realize that we really did a good job in hiring them. They have different packages based on every couple's needs and to top of that they did all the necessary wedding documentations for us to be able to report our wedding in uae germany and in philippines now you have the wedding coordinator so what's next send your initial documents to your wedding coordinator what are the documents required to get married in seashells the minimum documents required for both bribe and the grooms are just copies of your passport and birth certificate. Yes, you heard it right, just passport and birth certificate. I want to highlight that this is the minimum documents required. Depending on your status, there might be some additional documents that will be required from you. Tip 2. Send your passport and birth certificate to your wedding coordinator as soon as you decide to go with them. This will allow you to have ample time to gather if any additional documents are required from you. Look for a hotel. Since we got married during COVID times, Seychelles requires tourists to book their stay only to licensed establishments that has been certified by public health authority. To decide which hotel you would be staying, you need to decide first which islands you want to have for your wedding. For us, we decided to have our wedding in Mahi. We decided to go with Savoy Seashells Resort and Spa. It is one of the finest five stars hotel and it's walking distance to one of the best beach in Seashells. It is six minutes drive away from Central Victoria and International Airport can be reached by car in 25. Booking a flight. Wait, <laughs> there is nothing to discuss here. I won't waste your time. I'm sure all of you guys know how to search and book for the cheapest flight, so let's move on. <laughs> finalize your wedding registration. Now that you have your hotels finalized and your flights booked, you can now fill up the wedding registration form and submit it to your wedding coordinator so they can book the wedding date for you. Depending on your wedding coordinator, they can require for you to pay an advance payment 
but the others, like ours, did not require an advance payment considering that the COVID situation is still there during that time. The situation at the time might be different at the time of recording, so please do check with your wedding coordinator. Hunt for the perfect wedding dress. So this is where it gets interesting for all the future brides. Dubai has amazing wedding shops. As per one of the wedding shops I spoke to, wedding dress price ranges from 1,500 to a whopping 150,000 dirhams. An average bride buys wedding dress that ranges from 4,000 dirhams to 20,000 dirhams. Most of the wedding shops have ready-made gowns that can be altered. Alteration can take from 7 to 2 months depending on how big the alteration would be. Checking and trying dresses are also free of charge but make sure to book an appointment just to be sure that they can accommodate you. I did some research about online wedding dresses. I know, it's risky and scary to order clothes, let alone your wedding dress online. But there are reputable online stores such as Lulu's Bridal Shop. Lulu Bridal Shop is an online store that offers wide range of affordable wedding dresses bridesmaid dresses, and wedding dress for guests online. Bridal dresses range from 330 dirhams to 1,300 dirhams. But keep in mind, they do have occasional sales where you can buy a simple wedding dress for 70 dirhams. Yes, 70 dirhams. I am also hesitant in the beginning, but Lulu's customer service is very reliable and accommodating. They responded to my queries quickly and patiently. They even helped me in identifying which size should I order based on the wedding dress and design I want. I ordered three dresses online from Lulu. I ordered it on May 30 and it was delivered in my doorstep here in Dubai on June 12. It was delivered by DHL with tracking number. And for orders over 550 dirhams, it's free shipping. Okay, wait, Alison, you must be asking, why did you order three dresses? Are you crazy? No, I'm not. But Lulu allows brides to try on their wedding dresses. They can return the wedding dresses and request for a refund when they don't like the dress. But keep in mind that in order to qualify for a refund, Dresses should be returned in good condition with tax on. Return should be initiated 45 days from the date of delivery. So for me, I received the dresses on June 12. I initiated the return on June 27 and it was delivered to Lulu's on July 4. And I got my money within 10 working days. There's a little downside in ordering in Lulu though. For outside U.S. orders, buyers are responsible for the shipping cost of the return of the dresses. I shipped mine via Aramex. Two dresses cost around 200 dirhams. The wedding dress I chose cost 850 dirhams. Plus the Aramex cost of 200 dirhams, it's just a total of 1,050 dirhams. Come on, for a wedding dress, it's 1,050 dirhams. It's a good deal. Finalize the small details for your wedding. Based on what is included in your wedding package, you have the decision to choose your cake, your ark, your bouquet, your flowers, and so much more. For us, I personally didn't bother. I mean, I have what I need waiting for me at the end of the aisle. And honestly, that's what's mattered the most. Requirements before flying. From the date this video was recorded, tourists flying to Seychelles requires the following. COVID PCR test. This is regardless of your vaccination status. Second is accommodation booking made to a licensed accommodation establishment that has been certified by Seychelles Public Health Authority. Valid travel insurance with full medical COVID coverage. And lastly, 
health travel authority approval and all the requirements mentioned earlier are just the ones that are required to apply for this approval report of marriage based on your nationality please check what are the process of reporting your marriage for us filipinos we need to report our marriage to the closest philippine consulate where we got married in seychelles the closest philippine consulate is nairobi don't worry your wedding coordinator should be able to do this for you make sure to mention this requirement early on the wedding preparation the requirements are straightforward and simple make sure to gather all the requirements so after the wedding you can hand it over to your wedding coordinator to submit it to philippine consulate of nairobi you are finally set countdown starts now and honestly there are things that might not go on your way some of your family members might not be able to come friends might not be there weather might not be as sunny as you expected or your bouquet might not be how you imagine it but don't stress about it you have the most important person beside you to share all of this and that's what matters the most so here's a lifetime full of happiness and congratulations to you guys i hope you find this video helpful if so please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to be updated every time i post a new video